Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Farahe here with another video. Welcome if this is your first time. I make faith-based content on this channel and sometimes I sing <laughs> depending how the spirit leads. So yeah, if that's something that you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video. Today I'm coming here. I had actually already planned to just bring a song um, to bless you guys this on this Sunday, but um, the Lord has been dealing with me in my in my private time of prayer and um, today I woke up a little bit early uh, as earlier than I, I had planned and I was still tired so I wanted to go back to bed and I prayed I said Lord um, give me a dream give me something to give me a confirmation of this word that you've put on my spirit and um, I went straight back into a deep sleep and I had a dream that basically confirmed this thing that has been on my heart so I'm just really thankful for having a God that actually hears and um, and does um, delivers <laughs> Um, yeah, so in my dream, I had a dream that uh, I was going to this house and from the outside, it looked like such a stunning house. It was like a mansion. It was very well built. I mean, I studied interior design, so I love architecture. I love buildings and aesthetics. So I, you know, I was really attracted to this, to this house and I, I went inside um, only to realize that this house, the interior was actually not exactly what the outside, you know, had portrayed. It was very dirty. It was not well kept um it was actually it looked quite dodgy if that's that's the only way i can describe it and that was confirmed to me when the person that i bumped into in that house kept telling me about the kind of people that would gather in that place and the type of activities that um would happen there and people kept coming in, random people that I didn't know, and they would go down into the cellar, some people would go up in the upstairs bedrooms. So that's when it dawned on me that there was some kind of a weird, um, it, it kind of basically, the, the only way I can describe it, it, it felt like a brothel or something. There was some kind of like illegal activity that was happening in that house. And um, for some reason, every time I would wake up in this dream, um, or every time I would get up, I would find myself going back to that house. And it almost seemed like it was... Um, that it was like an addictive thing, you know, everything that I craved was in that house and I kept going back to that place, even though I knew in my spirit that I had no business being there, I had no business uh, being with those type of people um, and I knew very well that I didn't fit in and I, you know, my uh, spiritual you know god was kind of telling me why are you here and i kept getting convictions about being there but i just kept going back because there was something about my something that was drawing me back to that place so um i remember even there was an incident where in the house people started fighting and somebody um was even trying to like there was someone a woman that was being strangled and she was about to be killed uh, or even thrown out of a window like out of, from the kind of the top level uh balcony and it's just such a, so many things happen in this short dream that as soon as I woke up, I knew, oh my goodness, this is a, such an, a, a, a confirmation to this thing. So earlier this week, I had been meditating on a word in um, Exodus, which was telling the story of um, the Israelites, the children of Israel who were had been taken out of Egypt, out of captivity, out of uh, slavery for over 400 years. And they found themselves in the desert, you know, being led by Moses. And this whole idea of, you know, that they came to a point where they actually started craving going back to Egypt and they, and they were saying to, you know, to Moses almost angrily like, why did you bring us out here in the desert, in the, in the sticks, you know, in the wilderness, when we could be back in Egypt, we could be enjoying our cucumbers and our garlics and, you know, the things that we used to enjoy, almost instantly forgetting that what they had just been delivered from was slavery, was captivity, was, you know, they were being tortured, they, they were mistreated, they were treated like, 
non-humans basically there's a reason why we've been drawn out of that place and I'm sure you've seen the title of this video and I really felt God was just telling me that there are some people um, and I you know this is preaching to myself as well so I'm not saying that this is a word just for a specific group of people but I, I've been praying and I think there are some people that are entangled in some type of sin some type of uh, spiritual bondage some type of you know activity that they have become um they have become addicted to you and that's the only way I can describe it so I believe that this is a word for you to not go back to the very thing that God has delivered you from I believe that God has already pulled you out of that pit has pulled you out of that place of desperation when actually when you look back when you were in that situation you wanted you longed for the day that you will be set free but now that you've been set free now that things become tough something in your spirit is like let me just go back to the thing that I'm used to let me go back to the you know to something that I'm already comfortable in and I just want to this is a word for somebody to not turn back you know I don't know what you've been through in the past year 2020 or even decades ago um, but I believe that the you know that you're being tempted to go back to something that is toxic you're being tempted to go back to something that you know has nothing to do with the place that God is calling you to you know it may be tough right now you may find yourself in the wilderness in the desert trying to figure out how you're gonna make it through how you're gonna feed your children how are you gonna you know pay your bills or how are you going to survive because you know there's nothing pretty there's nothing fun about being in the desert but you know just like the children of you know the children of Israel the Spirit of God led them the Spirit of God God himself had to be their provider they had to surrender and make God you know God had to sustain them essentially they had to come to a point where they had to trust him and they even speaks about this cloud that they that kept going before them and leading their way through that journey in the wilderness and I believe this is a word for you that this is a time for you to let go of the past stop looking behind stop looking Looking back to that thing that kept you captive God wants to break every entanglement that you had found yourself in in this moment and I just want to send this as an encouragement to you do not look back do not go back to the very thing that God has delivered you from because where you are may be tough but boy you have no idea the kind of incredible plan that God has for you you know that the the, the essentially the uh, the promised land that you're going to enter in this year the promised land that awaits for you in the future so keep persevering keep trusting God keep trusting that there is a way out of this situation but the last the, the one thing that you should not do is go back because we're God has already you've crossed over from that 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 uh, season of your life you have come into the realization that there's, there has to be more to life than this, that this thing that you're dealing with. There has to be more to life than, you know, constantly being in a position where you are, you do not have a sense of purpose, where you know that the people you're hanging out with are, are not great. You know, they're influencing you in the wrong way. So I just pray that this blesses you. And of course, to end this video, I want to sing this song that God has put on my heart, um, which is I Won't Go Back, and which is so fitting to this word. And I just pray that as I sing this song, that the Spirit of God will just flow in your heart and make you realize why it's so important for you to continue to move forward and to not look back because God has you his spirit is going ahead of you and he's going to bring you to a special place of freedom you've never experienced before so enjoy this song and sing along with me as well take care I've been
Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you, oh, humbly before your throne, God, to bring to you this request. Father, you know your children, your dear sons and daughters, who, are, who find themselves trapped in this uh, entanglement of sin, who find themselves held captive by the habits and the addictions that they find themselves in, oh God. Father, I just come before you to bring to you this request, Lord, that you will shake us out of that place. Father, that you will open our eyes to see that we do not belong there. Father, that you have a great and great and mighty purpose for each and every one of us, oh God. Father, I pray that you will strip us away from the very things that you are, you have delivered us from, Lord. Help us not to crave the things that we used to crave before. Help us to set our eyes on you, to move in the direction of holiness, of righteousness, of being in, the, in oneness with you, Lord. Father, anything that the enemy is bringing in our life that is taking us backwards, that is taking us in the direction of sin, of being led astray, Oh, Father, we pray that you strip that away from us. Father, rid us of the things of this world. Every desire that is not of you, Father, strip us away from it, oh God. Every depression, Father, that is keeping us, keeping a hold on us, oh God, allowing us not to see a way out. Father, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Anxiety, suicidal thoughts, oh, this idea that we are not loved, oh, this idea that we need, we need fulfillment, that we need fulfillment in these things that we think will give us a quick fix. Father, I pray that those things will be broken in the name of Jesus. Give us an eye. Father, let us feel your presence. Let us feel the love, the deep longing, the deep longing of wanting to be freed. Lord, let us actually seek after you. Let us seek after freedom. Lord, we want to live a freed life. Father, we want to run after the things that you have for us. And Lord, we pray that everything that is holding us captive, that all these shackles on our in our hearts and our spirits and our souls be broken oh break every soul tie connected to spirits and people that do not belong to you lord in the mighty name of jesus father break us and make us new lord i in the breaking lord you are preparing us you are you are you are making us better you are creating us to be more like you lord as you break us as you shape us god you are allowing us to see that there is anointing being created in us lord that there is purpose out of this thing that you're going to take us out of oh god sometimes you lead us to go through that thing for us to realize that we need you lord we need you we can't do this on our own we need your spirit to step away from everything that is entangling us oh god so i just pray that your freedom will come to your sons and daughters today that your freedom will come to them right this moment as i pray right now oh god let your freedom fall hallelujah strip us away lord strip us away hallelujah father we don't want to go back to the things that we've run away from we don't want to go back to the things that you have already delivered us from so god come and show us lord that there is a better way out show us that there is a new way of living lord hallelujah blessed be your name god thank you for your freedom thank you for your freedom 